Well, I do bring the rain. G&K's pasty. Got two pasties from G&K's. I'm gonna eat the veggie one now. That noise you hear is the air conditioner. It's actually really humid. So I turn the air to cool it down a little bit. All right, I'll call this the end of this. It's time to leave the Ojibwa Casino and head west. All right, YouTubers, let's see if it'll start working again. My GoPro's messing up. We filled up at the Pines. 287 this is pretty cheap compared to what I've been paying all right here's the casino um, again just one night I got the last working spot and they told me that there's a lot of construction workers they're doing road work up here and they're also doing construction work in the casino so the place was packed um, I was glad to stay there didn't sleep real well last night I figured just a disclaimer I'm gonna talk a little bit so you can see some of these colors better today um, I didn't sleep well last night because first when I was trying to sleep Vinny used the litter box like four times and for those of you that watch, he goes bananas in the litter box cover, and I got to get out of bed. He wakes me up. It's terrible. And then Kiki was sleeping next to me by the window, and I don't know if there was another cat, a raccoon, or something out there, but she woke me up hissing and, like, slapping at the window right by my head. So, I did not sleep well last night. But these fall colors are beautiful. Very beautiful. Um, people say I don't tell a lot of stories, so I'll tell a story. Um, when I was driving up, she sometimes will go in the very back corner of the RV and ride back there under the bed. And she did that for like eight hours. I didn't see her. So, I was actually getting a little concerned. When I stopped for gas, I did see her and she was all right. But why I was concerned was I got Kiki when I was married. My ex-wife had to have Persians. So we got two of them. There's two in the litter and she's got a brother. Well, about a month ago, my ex got a hold of me and told me that he had a stroke seizure kind of thing and she had to put him down. And he was a really cool cat too so it was pretty bad only 11 so since then you know i was always a dog person but kiki's my cat we had like i think four or five animals at the time and uh she was animals picked the people and she picked me and the other ones were before me <laughs> but um become very attached so i've been Concerned, you know, you start realizing, oh, that day is closer than you want to believe. And my ex, she was really close to her brother, so it's it's pretty sad. I get where people um they're like family, you know. So dog or cat or whatever you may have, if you don't treat them like family, you should enough of that. I'll figure out something else to talk about when the leaves look pretty again. Hopefully my GoPro keeps working. I, I don't know what's up with it lately. So that's gorgeous, huh? So I'm heading back to Ontnoggin Township Park. And probably going to do some exploring from here. Lake of the Clouds, the Porkies a little bit know some other RVers that are up here so it should be fun I doubt I'll put anybody on camera because that's my whole thing I like to try to be in the moment when I can but I'm hoping to see a lot of the beautiful
beauty up here that it has to offer. Got quite a crosswind today, but look at that. I really hope this GoPro's catching it. to be. Um, I was going to talk about this anyway and I got a video uploaded last night at the casino and answered the first little bit of comments and somebody asked me why here, why not some other places. Well, I have, I've talked about before, I have an uncle that always used to go to Tennessee to go to the lake. Well, finally they moved to Tennessee and I considered going there. I considered the Smokies and I was also considering going to Maine. And then, I like it here. I like people here. And I already knew that this was a good place for fall colors. So, I figured go to where you know and check out all that stuff. I'm looking forward to getting to Copper Harbor as well. The Tunnel of Trees, they say, is almost mind-blowing. If I were you, I would drown out what I'm saying and just look at the leaves. <laughs> right, Keith? Yeah. And, and I also stopped at the casino because there was a really bad storm last night. And from everything I could tell, it was going to hit Aunt Noggin right about the time I was going to get there. And I knew I could stop there first. And also it was, um, having remembered that casino, there seemed to be less things that could fall and land on an RV. So I figured I was already getting tired, the cat on my leg, I said, what the heck. And, uh, then the other bonus I had is I was hoping for this. I was hoping for a prettier drive along the way. So I think all in all it worked out. I'm getting a bit of a wind, crosswind here, but that's okay. See, it's patchy. Some of the patches are pretty good, but the explosion is a few days away, I think. I'm again happy with my timing. My budget doesn't really allow me to um, have forever to wait, you know? So I was tracking those sites to keep in mind when the leaves were gonna start going. Just giving you an excuse to look at trees. Um, but because I like to explore so much, I like the knowledge of the cats connected to power, if they need heat or if they need air, I don't have to worry about them. I don't have to worry about being parked somewhere, somebody coming along and fiddling with stuff. Fiddling is a nice way of, you know, stealing, <laughs> saying stealing. So it just gives me a little bit more sense of nothing to worry about or be concerned about. And I also, I don't like just to sit by my RV to go do stuff. Pretty good win. So yeah. Alright now we'll do a little bit of time lapse. Boom! 
explosion of color. Yeah, I mean, it's not whipping, but it's blowing. My thought just went to wonder what's winter's like up here. <laughs> I know it's cold, and I know there's a lot of snow. I know they ha know how to handle snow. You know, they, they do a good job of plowing from everything I know of up here. But those nine months of winter, <laughs> joke, but winter lasts a while up here. I'm going to make sure that I don't see any snow on this trip. I brought an ice scraper because there's probably a pretty good chance that I'll be scraping some ice in the mornings or something. But hopefully no snow. I love how nature's beauty can get monotonous, you know? That is a monotony I will take. All right, now we're gonna take a break from the camera. I'll keep driving if it's okay. I can't help it. I just, I just can't help it. the Yankees win last night I got to watch at the casino and <laughs> being honest I did bring my satellite dish thing but with the storm coming also I wanted to be able to watch the game so I watched it in the casino I, I, I'm very very happy obviously as a Yankee fan and at the same time there's a part of me that always feels bad for the A's because they do it without any money you know they had an awesome season and it seems like they always run into the Yankees. But, you know, I applaud the little engine that could, but I'd like to see them win against other people. <laughs> and another thing, my Buckeyes pulled out that amazing win at Penn State. I thought they were going to lose that game. A little pet peeve. If you're sitting on your sofa, you don't get to say we and us. You can call them your, your guys or your team or whatever. But a little pet peeve of mine is the people that say we and us. You ain't playing. You're sitting on your sofa eating wings and Cheetos, you know. I came across somebody slow, so we'll take a break here. All right, I'll throw in. So the Yankees and Red Sox again. On paper, but luckily for the Yankees, they don't play on paper. Should be interesting. Fingers crossed. And I will also, <laughs> I'm trying to stop recording, but one last thing. Step one in a Yankees successful season is when Boston gets eliminated. I don't care who does it, but the day they get eliminated, everything after that for me is gravy. <laughs> That's what a rivalry is all about. They are good this year, though. I hope they throw Price against the Yankees because they got his number. Okay. This guy's on my last nerve. But, hey, now let me take that back. This guy is not on my last nerve. This guy, hopefully, is enjoying the beautiful scenery just like I am. So relax everybody, somebody is slow in front of you, you don't always have to get mad. It's stunning up here. Okay, now I'll take a break. Alright, turn 
left to go to Aunt Noggin. This person just wants me to pass. I know, I know, I should just move up here already. <laughs> if Eddie was a self-driving vehicle, I could sleep in the back and just say, hey, take me back to Aunt Noggin. The problem would be, he's like, dude, I need gas. I can't do that by myself. <laughs> I was here I did look at houses and there was one that I liked I liked quite a bit but it has since been sold it was bigger than I needed but it was nice and I looked at a little one that I think it's been sold too not too far right over here but uh, it was cheap for a reason electrical would have all had to be redone the foundation wasn't good it was like 25 grand and you could probably work it down. Township Park straight ahead. There's just a little taste of the fall colors and it's going to get even better. Have a great and wonderful day.